Hi and welcome to Library Management System in C Sharp. So I'm going to start by just showing you guys the interface. All of the data data on this interface are actually from my from the database that I developed, and those are the information. Okay, you can always can always click just to search for the library membership or you can just search by book or by books right here just click on anyone okay so whatever book you want to borrow you enter the library assistant enter the amount of dates in there that that book can be taken away for then click on borrow and that is the date you will have to return your book However, if you return the book on that same day, if that book is returned that very day, let's see what will happen. Uh, one six, click, click return there. Okay, date overdue is zero. Let's return fine. That's zero as well. Supposing you end up returning this book later let's go for maybe 25 we click on date return and there we end up with 20 days of a deal and that will cost you approximately 13 pounds okay what I will do next is take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and uh, we we'll put one of these together so let's go into C sharp development environment now hi this is a c-sharp library management system let's start by clicking on new project and select it c-sharp right here select window form application and let's give this program a name so we just call that c-sharp okay library management systems okay click on okay and right here let me just show it to you guys before the form load up that's the library database i intend to use so i've used it before on uh, and visual basic.net so i'm going to be using it again in this very c sharp okay let's see if okay here it comes that's the database right there let's double click on the table there they are and those are the information I'll be using and the following columns right here these four columns are empty so I intend to carry out brief uh, calculations in there so let me just close that and go back to now that my C sharp uh, environment is ready the next thing is select the form and let's go straight to the property where it says size we change the size to my own screen resolution so let me go for 1360 let's make it 69 by 730 or 20 let's say that's fine okay the next thing is to go to the data source right here let me call that very data the database is right on my desktop click on next next again and let's select new connection right there there we go select the database right there that's the database click on okay that's the database there now i'm gonna delete the admin let's check if it works yeah it's working fine click on okay there now click on next and this uh, instruction here is actually telling you that the database will be saved inside the project folder click on yes and then click on next that's the database ready now that's the table so i'll select my table called library books click on finish and there we go now i have my database in place okay let's select details drag the de details and just drop it on board there we go we have the details on board so the next thing i will do now is i might as well just enhance the, the font size let's increase the size of this font let's go for about 16 yeah that's fine so let's just 
reduce all of these and let's move everything here let's move this one out of the way okay that's fine now let's get that much okay from here let me let's go from here let's move it here okay so and one more let's get all of this information here right here those information are just for the books so let's move all of those here and these ones right here let's take it here move it here now this last bit that's the customer's id so let's move that there and select everything just move it somewhere here all right let's repeat the same thing for this one move it right here and this move this down a little bit okay let's move it somewhere here that's much better then the next thing is let's go into the tools here get a panel right there just drag it there and let's change the background color back color there yeah that's fine and just extend it that much now the next thing is let's get a label on board that's my label right there paste it somewhere there and just change the font size of that very label let's pick that maybe 48 and change the font the four color the font color all right and just change the text right here to library management systems okay that's ready now we'll move that up there the next thing i want to do is uh, go back to data source right there and change this change it to data grill and just grab the data grill and dump it right there right there okay so that'll be the first the first stage of my interface so let's just run it and see what we've done so far okay guys this is how the interface looks right now so the next thing i would do is uh, maybe get some buttons on board and um, just design the interface make it look a little bit more attractive and i'll then get back to you guys okay this is how the interface is looking right now the only thing i've just added is a label there that i intend to use for the title of all these all these columns and uh, buttons so i'm gonna need maybe let's say maybe one or two more buttons for now but i still haven't made up my mind what i intend to do i'm going to for now let's just enter approximately four buttons right there then these labels so that would be for the ones here that would be the library membership and here we have our uh, books library books here we just have details of uh, books borrowed so let's change those ones come in here change that to library book data or whatever let's come in here give that a name library books data okay uh, maybe details whatever all right now here let's change that to let's say book books borrowed borrowed these details okay all right that's what that will be I'm just in here I can change that to maybe borrowed and here maybe we can just call it okay i'll make i will think of what to call this ones later on so yeah we we'll just forget that for now okay we'll come back to that the next thing i want to do is to let's add the search system here so with the search system might as well just copy one of these text box box and just place it right there and then i would need a let me grab one of these and just dump it there we'll reduce the font size of that let's change that something smaller maybe 16 or let's go to 414 and just change the data in there so 
search and here let's change this one to txt search right there now let's grab a combo box and just dump it right there and place that right here we move it up a little bit and change this font size of this search engine let's change that to 14 as well okay if I run it now let's just save it and run it and you guys see how it's looking at what it looks like this is how the whole interface is looking right now okay. so the next thing now is to carry out some coding to take care of all of these text box maybe this one we might maybe change one of these to reset or something well, let's change this to reset okay so we have a reset there okay we have a reset maybe this one we can change this one to maybe exit if we have to add another button so be it so for now so I have just one spare one left without without a name yet okay so let's just run it again so that you see Okay, this is how it's looking now, but I still haven't made up my mind what to enter in here. I'm just gonna think of that as I as I go on. Okay, but let's just write maybe just two lines of codes and uh, maybe take care of this and this. And double click on the exit button and just enter maybe application dot exit right there enter parentheses and that's that I may have to come back here I don't know then this next one double click on that okay let's double click on these and just enter the following lines of codes so the whole idea of this code is to get rid of the to clear the text box you can see for each control C in this control you just want C to get type equals type of that's the text I just want it to deal with the text box I just clear whatever is inside all of these text box so if I run it now I can always just click on this if I click on it there that's it all gone okay we can always go back okay now we can just clear just like you guys have seen alright so let's save that and come to the next one here so what we need to do next is just to take care of this uh, take care of this interface here to deal with all of the calculation maybe set all the dates first I think I'm not gonna need one of these dates but let's see how it goes 